hi everyone welcome back to the my channel my name is anil and in this test video tutorial we will see that how we can test the callback functions all right so we will just start from the very scratch in this video we will make two files one for the writing the function and another for testing the function all right so guys if you don't know how to install the gist gist and how we can just start it with the first unit test then you can get the link from the description box now let's start with this uh, callback testing so first of all i'm just going to test uh, make make a file with the name of fetch data dot js file and now let's make a testing file also so let's see just data dot test dot js in this file we will write the test case and here we will make a function so let's say i'm just going to make a simple function with the name of uh, fetch data right so you can make a different name for the function it's not required that the file name and the function name should be same it's not mandatory all right so just return something so for now let's return a hello whenever i'm just going to write the test case i will return here the correct thing all right so now just export it just write here export dot modules ah, sorry that's it's, it's module dot export dot export right mm -hmm. and the function name like uh, fetch data right just after doing that let's uh, just import this function to the test file so just write here a variable name like const fetch data equal to required and the file path so file path will be fetch data like this all right so now just write the test function okay this is sometime auto correct will just horrible so let's as you know that the first parameter of the test can be uh, message like uh, testing callback function right and in the second parameter uh, I will just take a parameter with the name of done all right and now just uh, simple write of uh, simply call the fetch function fetch data like fetch data here all right so with that way we are easily able to it's not even required if you just don't want to call them this is also fine all right but with that way we are able to call the fetch data function from here but where is our callback function so we also have to make it so just write here function and just write a uh, function name let's say callback or whatever you just want to make is totally up to you and here we can just pass some parameter like data and all and just write here try and catch block in the try block i have to just write uh, expect statement expect and here i can just write here like data right and it should be to be uh, to be like the output so i will be match here like say hello which will be the same from here all right and after that let's define a catch block also in the catch block let's take a parameter like err and here we can just done it with the err perfect now just pass this uh, function as in parameter like a callback all right now let's come back here and just use here any function you can just use any name like back or callback so here just write here back and just write the same thing hello here all right so this is the way that how we can just write uh, a callback function but now the one more thing is that how we can get uh, this will be a done actually right how we can get this done from here and here we also have to done so that our test case should be passed so that let's pass this parameter from our function so now let's test it open the command line and just simply write here npm run test okay oh, oh. npm run test and let's see what's going on now you can see that test case is passed all right 
so if I am just going to return something wrong here like let's say hi then just simply it, it will going to tell you that this is expecting something and is this is getting something right this is expecting hello but he is receiving hi that's why th this is failed all right so this is the way that how we can just simply test a callback function and this is basically a part of asynchronous programming because callback function we used when we have some async or uh, data that can be take some time and after that we have to call the callback function all right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care